Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks You Didn't Know About the Cosmetic Mission. I'm your host, Ian Davis, and uh, let's start off with a kind of a fun trick. Okay, the first one's kind of fun. This one's just a, a minor one. It's a good first one on the list. Uh, if you were to fly full speed into the space station and hit the window, it jars you and brings you back into the ship as though it caused a malfunction or an interruption into the simulation of the Omniview. So I'll show you. Boom. All right, isn't that kind of fun? So if you just go full speed, it knocks you out of the uh, environment. But obviously not when you're inside because you're in there. So let me do it one more time just to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, that's just me uh, running out of time because I've been talking too long, but it's okay, I'm just showing you some stuff. All right, here it goes. Fly into it. Yep, there you go. Uh, that's the first tip. Okay, this next tip is one that's fairly obvious. I hope you guys know about it. Is you hit the B button and it takes you out to the Omni view. This view is like you can see the whole entire playing field. So you could walk around, take a look at things, and hit the B to toggle in or out. Very simple tip, but something you need to know. Of course, you could play the whole entire game looking outside from the command station and navigate your way. But the Omniview has a, uh, a much larger scale, so you're like a giant. Also, in Omniview, the guidance rings show up. So when you're inside the space station, those rings are not there. It's actually in some sort of a simulated space in the Omniview, see? Again, once again, you come from in there, hit B, here we are, hitting the B button toggles. Okay, this next one, for all you uh, pro pilots or RC flyers or people who like a challenge, is the pro controls. If you hit this button over here, right there, this toggles you to pro controls. It does a few things. One, it unlocks the two axes of rotation, giving you much more control over the, the drone. Two, it makes you go a lot faster. And three, it gives you a point uh, multiplier. Uh, only about 10% more, so 1.1 multiplier. So let me show you what it's like. To toggle it, you just go over to this control, hit the A button, and you can see right away these are unlocked. This shows you your power curve, and this shows you that these two axes are unlocked. So when next time you, you launch, you have a lot more control over your drone, and it's much faster. So you can see how I'm rotating all over, and I have much more of a thrust too. And of course, that means more speed and more, and more potential to get yourself in trouble. So, but a lot of fun. That's the pro controls as far as speed. As far as uh, multiplier, well, let's just see here. Let me get some points and show you how that is. Okay, as you see, this tiling up to all the other usual stuff like points and stars, it has two lit flame icons, which two means a pro, and you get a 1.1 multiplier, 10% increase. So I went from 7,000 to 7,700, just because I went to pro, so it's beneficial. All right, that's pro controls. All right, the next one, pulling G's. This one is related to the going pro with pro controls because with the extra force, you can actually pull enough G's to tear away the collected energy. So I just collected some. Now, if I go fast enough and change directions, that pulls G's out. See that? That happens when you go fast and change direction applies a lot of force on the, on the ship and that's un, uh, enough to unlock or release some of the unstable energy that you collected. See I lost all of it. So sometimes when you're going so fast you actually are penalized because you, uh, uh, you know, lose energy. But that being said when you're going towards your energy you can go as fast as you want because you have no energy to lose. All right, the next tip, auto stop. This one's a tip that uh, you may not be aware of. So uh, let me tell you, if you're flying around 
and you just can't quite seem to get it back under control, just let go of the controls and your drone will come back to full complete stop. So then once again, fly around, you want to, you want to stop or full control again, just let go. The reverse thrusters will kick in and it will come to a stop. There you go. Auto stop. All right, the next is inverted controls. This panel right here is the area you can configure your flight controls to your preference. For instance, I like to invert my Y controls. Or in other words, I pull up and push down. Some people that feels backwards, they want to push up and the ship goes up. Push down, the ship goes down. And this is where you do it. This also is a little uh, area where you can just look at the control panel and figure it out. So let's take a look. Uh, if you push up on this joystick, see the flame on the bottom, it would go up. Right? And see how the arrow goes up? Simple as that. Flames on the top, force up, the ship will go down. If I hit this, switch it, now when I push up on the joystick, this the flames will go up on top and the ship will go down. Just like that. That's how you can configure your preference of your flying. All right, this next tip is called standing up or sitting down. As the tip implies, you can play this whole entire game either standing up or sitting down. So what that means is if for whatever reason you uh, have to sit down, you can play this game. It's designed for having one point where you can access all the, all the menus, all the controls, and yet when you toggle outside, you can see the whole playing field, all the, all the objectives. So that's a good design for all the different configurations of players. And I think this is a little tip for people who might take advantage of that. All right, this tip. This tip is about that headlight. Now, at first you may think, sure, what? of course you put the headlight on, because it's cool. You can fly toward an asteroid and you can see it and you can explore because in, typically in space it's all dark you need a big headlight. But actually, there's a real other reason to have a big headlight like, like this one. And that is so you can to tell what, what direction the, the drone is facing from far away. Uh, I did, I did. Let me show you. So for instance, let's say you're far away. And the drone got away from you a little bit. You can uh, find out what direction it's facing by rotating until you see the headlight. And if you see the headlight, then you know it's facing towards you. Hit the main thruster and bring it back. Ta-da! The other design features I did was I made the profile uh, different. So obviously this is facing perpendicular to you. And then like this, it's facing towards you. So that's an advantage. So it's kind of like a D. Well, at least it's more like a D now, right? Back, boop. And here's another tip that's inside the same kind of configuration. Uh, the uh, big light on the bottom that's pulsing is the bottom, and these antennas with little tiny lights on top is the top. And of course, the score, the, the energy, always is anchored to the top of the drone. So for instance, if you're over here and you see that score, if you look at it, it's on the bottom, then you know, whoops, I'm in the wrong configuration, wrong orientation. So just rotate it up. There you go. I know this, I, I built this in because uh, I fly a lot of RC planes, and knowing what way you, you're oriented helps a lot in pi piloting the plane. So the same goes with drones. Hope you find that one helpful. Okay, that is part one of tips and tricks that you didn't know about the Cosmic Mission. Stay tuned for next time. I'll have another video filled with tips and tricks to make you a better pilot so you can go into space, explore, and collect. See you next time.